everybody, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and today I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The bad news is we have about 56 days until Christmas, but the good news is we have 56 whole days until Christmas. And I know a lot of you are making handmade gifts for this holiday season as am I. I have two resources to help us get organized and to make our handmade gifts look beautiful for Christmas. So the first thing that I have is a free handmade holiday planner and calendar. So if you're like me, you are planning on making handmade gifts for the holidays and maybe you are way better than me and you've already gotten some of yours done. I haven't even started yet. Last year I was really organized and I had everything planned out, but 2020 has been a very different year for everybody. So I created a handmade holiday planner and calendar and I am giving this to you as my free gift. You can find a link for it in in the description box below. I will send it straight to your email. This is how I plan on getting myself organized this year. So I've broken it up into three different sections. And the first section is all the prompts that I'm going to be using that are going to help me get myself organized. So if you're like me, I love to record a lot of the information about handmade gifts that I'm making. I have been keeping a journal and a calendar since I was actually in middle school. I love remembering all those details and remembering what I was making, why I was making it, and these little prompts will help you to get yourself organized, but also to remember all those little details. Now, you don't have to use these prompts because you might wanna use this planner in a completely different way, and that's okay. You can do it any way you like. I just added these prompts if that's something that you would like and you needed a little bit of guidance. The next section is broken up into the little boxes where you are actually going to be able to write out who the gift is for, what yarn you used, what pattern you used, when did you give it, who did you give it to, all all of those nice little details. The third section is actually a calendar of November and December. And one of the reasons I wanted the actual calendar is so that I could write down the dates when I need to send something. It's nice if you contact your local post office to find out when do these gifts actually need to be sent so that they will get there in time. For me, I would love for my family members to be able to open these gifts on Christmas morning, whether you are crocheting toys or you're knitting up dishcloths or hats or whatever whatever you're making for your family and friends. I feel like when you write down a date in a calendar, it's like a little fire under your butt because you gotta get it done by that date. It's just a helpful reminder for me. I hope you'll find this free printable hot <laughs> I hope you'll find this free printable handmade holiday planner and calendar helpful this holiday season. The second resource that I have for you is a set of printable cards and matching gift tags. Now I'm really, really excited about these. I actually designed them for gift giving for myself this year and then I thought, you know what? How about I offer them to you guys too? I used 65 pound cardstock and I found that if I tried to use a thicker cardstock, it wouldn't go through my printer. And if I used something flimsier and lower poundage on the cardstock, it actually was just too flimsy and it felt more like paper. So so these actually feel like cards. This is a pretty standard size cardstock, and I printed them on brown and white, but you could print them on other colors as long as you keep in mind whatever you print them on, you want that black ink to be able to show up. But I feel like it looks really great on the brown. You actually can see it quite well. I used a guillotine style paper cutter to cut out all the cards. I found that that was the best way. If I tried to do it by hand, I can't get the line straight enough. I'll leave a link for one that I like in the description box below, but if you've already got one, great. I think these are super handy to have for lots of different reasons. But then I also created the matching gift tags. Let me get it for you. So these are the matching gift tags. They are in the white and the brown, and I think that they look so very cute. Now I found with these that it was a whole lot easier to just cut them out by hand. I tried it with the paper cutter and it did not work. I ended up cutting off part of the border and I really wanted to keep that. So I just found that it was easier for me to cut these out by hand. And I also just used a hole punch so I 
can slip the ribbon through and I really just think these turned out so cute. I usually make these little gift tags by hand but I wanted something that I could easily just print out and have a whole bunch of them all at once and I love this so much. With the cards I only made them where they are one sided so they're not a fold over card but my idea was that you could either use this to paste or tape to the actual gift or you could use it as a little card and just write a little note to the person that you are making the gift for. When I designed these I wanted people to know for sure that you made this for them so they all say handmade somewhere on them or made just for you. There are four different designs and I think they're really sweet. You could actually back them with a colored cardstock that could be really beautiful too. I just think these are really fun. They're simple. I think that they're really nice and you can just print them out and you can have them right then and there and with the matching gift tags I think it just makes that handmade gift really really special. So for the little Anne of Green Gables doll I just added a pretty little ribbon. It's a little floral ribbon and then I like to add the little bit of a rustic twine or a jute string and I think that it just gives it that vintagey rusticy look that I just love. If you love glitz and glamour use something sparkly and just show your own personality and making your handmade gifts really special and just show your own love and oh my gosh a cat's going crazy. What I love about adding these little details is that you are also giving a little bit of yourself to the person that is going to be receiving your gift. You give a little bit of your personality and I think that's really fun and that just shows how special that they are to you and I'm just rambling at this point. So for each toy, I added a different ribbon and gift tag for the toys and I feel like that that just adds that little bit of detail that makes the gift really, really special. So you can add gift tags to all different types of gifts. I have it on Mr. Pencil here and Lula doll and I love just adding these nice little details. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by the Le Petit Saint Crochet YouTube channel. You will find links for everything in the description box below. And if you would please like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. And as always, happy stitching and stay safe out there.